I'm here with Molly Shore and Taryn Rumsey, uh, both of the women's volleyball team, this week's EC Athletes of the Week. Uh, Molly, you had a great performance, nearly finishing with a triple-double on Saturday on Senior Day with 7 kills, 10 digs, and 48 assists. How satisfying was it to have such a good performance that day? Um, it was great, especially having Sasha out of the offense, which, you know, she's a big part of our offense, so you just got to figure out who, where to put the ball at the right time and... Um, just getting Taryn going at the right the right tempo and keeping her in play is, is important and incorporating the other girls as necessary to have that success. And then Taryn, uh, Saturday was senior day, um, you're a junior, but you quietly had a phenomenal performance yourself, um, finishing with a season high 24 kills along with seven digs. How was it important to, how important was it to get your five seniors a win that day? Well, going into the game, the seniors actually weren't really they were surprised to see that it was their senior game. They were like, "What? It's our senior game?" And because they weren't really thinking about it in that way, but to me, I was like, and I'm not even a senior. I was kind of like, you know, I want to win for them. Like it's their one of their last times to be here, and all their parents are here. So to me, it, it was like a quiet um, desire to win, I guess, because I wanted them to. I mean, who, no one wants to lose in their senior game, so I just wanted to make sure that they had a good last game at home, and we should come out on top. So. All right. And then Molly, uh, you're from Sterling, Colorado, and your parents were here this weekend. How nice was that for them to make that long trip? It meant so much to have my parents here. Um, you know, all through middle school, elementary school, high school, they were there every game. My mom was a coach at my high school, and and so it's just it's just it's been weird and hard not having them around these last couple of seasons. So it meant so much that they were there for me. And with being from the West Coast, what kind of made you choose to come all the way to Elmira for your last two years of college? Um, it's because I like the color purple a lot. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I just I love the speech program here at Elmira. I heard great things about it and um, the recruiting, you know, Coach Lennox last year. He's just a great guy and just kind of got me interested and um, talked to me a lot. And I just thought it would be cool to be a part of this program. All right. Well, the program's glad to have you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Taryn, um, with losing five great seniors this year, is there kind of a sense of urgency to really get a conference championship this year? There's a big sense of urgency, uh, especially because all the seniors play. They all are a very huge part in our offense and defense. They are all in. Some of them, like, they're all in at all points of the game. And it's just losing the Empire 8 the last two years in a row, like second place, it's just not cutting it anymore. And, like, we know that... Personally, I know this is the year, and we need to do it, and it's just, we're like ready, we're hungry for it, like I said, because we've lost so many times within the last, in the past, the last two years, and um, it's just, it's right there, like you just want it so bad that we just have to, to finish this year, so. Yeah. All right, and then Wednesday, uh, you guys hosted Dig Pink uh, Volleyball Game to raise awareness for breast cancer, and you guys both have a direct uh, relationship with breast cancer. Would you guys like to kind of talk about that? Um, well, my aunt, Ann Keenan, she actually graduated from Elmira College back in the 70s, I think. And she's in Elmira. She's local here. She lives here. And she, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, um, I think it was my senior year of high school. And she's really close to me. She supported me um, through all my years of volleyball. She loves coming to watch and she's really great friends with my mom so they're always cheering me on, a little cheering section and um, having her being di diagnosed with that disease was just awful because she's so close to me. I didn't want to lose her and and she beat it and she's still a great person. Like, she's just always here for me and she's still, and she hasn't stopped one bit even though she was um, even though she had cancer and just giving her a day to be recognized, especially within my own program, is really important to me, and it's nice to be able to share it with her. My mom was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was a freshman in high school, and she fought better than anyone I could imagine and, and overcame it, and she just, I play every game for her, and just having this specific game for this cause is just, it's just really cool, and it's I was just, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So it's really nice that you guys can play a game you love while also supporting those that you love. Right. Yes. And also the game kind of uh, has some more fun aspects to it too, like uh, you get to wear some different colored uniforms. And uh, can you talk about some of the other stuff that you guys will be doing on Wednesday? 
Um, well, Fonts is obsessed with this thing called paracord, and it's <laughs> different color ropes, and she weaves them together to look like breast cancer ribbons, so uh, we'll be selling those. We did that last couple years as well, so people are really interested in those, buying them and such, and we will also be wearing pink socks. We have black socks with a pink ribbon on them. Mm -hmm. Um, and pink uniforms this year. Yes. Their numbers on them. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. We haven't gotten to do that in the past. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes there's cookies and things of that nature, but we haven't really it's been given the details yet, so you guys have to come out and support us on that day to figure out the rest. Find out. All right, we'll be sure to be there. And finally, Thursday uh, marks your final regular season Empire 8 contest against Alfred. Um, how important is it to get a win that night and secure one of the top two spots in the playoffs? Well, it's important, of course, just to get that conference win and, and secure that spot. And then it's just crazy thinking it's my last home game here, possibly. And so it's just really important to get that win just to be satisfied with the end of my college career here. Yeah, <clears throat> and we, we know we're going to be in the Final Four of the conference, and why go in with two losses when we only have one right now? Like, why not finish it, you know? We, we're right behind Naz, and we don't want to give them any other reason to believe that we're not going to beat them by having another loss, so we're just going to come out and take it from Alfred. All right, well, thanks for stopping by, and best of the luck the rest of the season. Thank you.